Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. I know you're probably like, girl, where have you been? I know, I haven't uploaded a video in a few, but you know, I'm back and I'm better and I'm ready to show y'all how to get this beautiful look. Okay, so continue watching and I'm going to show you exactly how to achieve this glowy, zooey, amazing. I'm just so flabbergasted, like I look amazing and I'm so excited to show you guys how to get this done. Um, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. If you're not, I already told you guys you're doing the wrong Subscribe so you can see all my videos. Okay, so keep watching and yeah. Hey guys, this tutorial is going to be a tad bit on the quick side just because it's a simple go-to look for the summer. Here you just see me moisturizing my face with one of my favorite moisturizers. I'm going to be using two primers today just because I love how these two mix together. I'm just applying the Wet n Wild one on my T-zone area and then I'm going to go in and apply the NYX one on the rest of my face. Now I chose this foundation specifically for this tutorial because I love the way the sun looks when it hits your face. Like this will give you that glowy radiant look that you're looking for. And I'm just going to blend it out with my kabuki brush. A tip for blending this out with the kabuki brush is go in circular motions and dab at the same time. It will give you more of a flawless look. Now this step is completely optional. I like to blend it out again with the beauty blender just to assure that everything's blended correctly. Now I chose the Fit Me Concealer specifically because it's an exact dupe of the NARS Creamy Concealer. I found it. This is the dupe. You guys need to buy it. It blends the same exact way. It gives you the same exact results. And you will not be disappointed. I was so excited when I used it. And I was like, this is the same thing. Now I'm going to be using the darkest shade from my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. And the thing about contouring is you have to be very precise. So when you apply your contour, you're going to apply it just under that cheekbone area. So that way it gives you the illusion of the defined cheekbones. Now we're going to use that same dark color that we used on our cheekbones for our nose contour. Also guys, everything I use will be written in the description. Now with nose contouring, you want to be somewhat precise with your lines. Otherwise, your nose will look a little crooked. So there is a tip for you dolls. <laughs> now I'm going to be using one of the spoon brushes, the bigger ones, just to blend out that contour on my cheeks. I highly recommend this for blending out any contour or anything on your face because it really gives it a flawless airbrush look. This is the cheap one, the little knockoff. Got it in a set on Amazon for like $9. So a lot of people get in the habit of using sponges and brushes on their face. Not I. I love using my fingers and my hands to blend out my makeup. I feel like it blends way easier and you get more of a precision, especially with the nose contouring. You guys should definitely try this at home. I usually go back in with a beauty blender after just to clean the sides up, you know? Because your fingers aren't going to get every little thing. So now, going back with our NARS dupe, I'm just going to be using that just to highlight my nose and under the contour that we just created. Now this is probably going to be the longest part in the video, eyebrows. Now ladies, the key to flawless, faliki 
beautiful eyebrows it's just a follow your brow shape you're just gonna underline the bottom of your eyebrow and just follow that shape that shape is gonna guide you into achieving beautiful brows when outlining your brow get as close to your natural brow as possible that is a major key now when creating your tail this can really make or break your brow a tail supposed to be a tad bit on the thinner side but just not too thin so what you're gonna do is follow the natural shape of your tail and just close it in you're gonna want to connect the top to the bottom Filling in your brows is almost like playing connect the dot. You need to find the right points and connect them together. Now, when you're shading in your brow, I like to start from my tail and work my way to the front. You want to do light strokes and then go back if necessary. You don't want to just plop on a bunch of product, otherwise you're going to end up with a hot mess. When you're shading, you're just going to want to go back and brush it out a little just so it all blends together as you go. And once you get your shape, you're going to notice little things and you're just going to go back and touch it up like I always do that. I'll create my shape and I always go back and change things, make things darker, shade a little bit here and there, you know? Now, once you get to the front of your brow, you're going to turn your brush just the way I did in the video and you're going to brush up just the way I'm showing you guys. This is the key because it gives it that hair like look because the hairs in the front, they don't really go back. They stand kind of up. So you're going to follow it just in this motion. Bring your weed in your best friend, put on Netflix, we gon' chill. Bring your weed in your best friend, put on Netflix, we gon' chill. Bring your weed in your best friend, put on Netflix, we gon' chill. Put on Netflix, we gon' chill. Put on Netflix, we gon' chill. And bring your weed in your After you get the brow shape that you want, you're gonna apply concealer under the brow just to clean it up and it gives it more of that natural, realistic look. Now make sure you blend that concealer out. You do not want halo brows. Now you're just gonna set everything. I call this the preset because I use this right before I apply my highlight. I feel like it really enhances the glow. So I chose to use the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit for this look because I like the glowy appeal that it gives. I usually wear champagne pop, but Forever Lit is popping, and you know your girl's always lit, so I had to use it. <laughs> I only really use Forever Lit from the Glow Kit just because I feel like it really gives you that strobe highlight. Now I'm just applying some falsies. I'm doing them off camera just because the way I apply them, guys, you would laugh at me. Um, I don't know the name of those lashes, but they are from Forever 21, if that helps. Lip gloss is definitely a go-to for a summer look because you want your lips to look super hydrated and super juicy in the summer. So now I'm just setting my look. Guys, setting spray is the key. I don't care if you drown your face in it. This is what's really going to make your look pop. And now we're all done, guys. So here's the finishing look. It looks amazing. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Yeah.